So what I'm saying is if there are people that actually show up, you send me the bill and I 100% mean it. Okay. Okay. I got you. So if we have 10,000 people that show up, it's going to be like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have to cut a deal, you know? Hey everyone, it's Erin. Welcome back to Living in Richmond, Virginia for another great episode of uh, The Local Scoop. I am super excited about who we have today. Um, it is Brad. Hello, Brad. How are you doing? Do well. How are you? I am doing great. So why I'm super excited to have Brad is uh, not only is he the amazing owner of Capital Waffle Shop, which has several locations around Richmond, but he is also my bonus brother. So uh, I get yes. really lucky, really, really lucky. Um, and I know if you met both of us at the same time, you'd be like, how could you not possibly be related? Because y'all are exactly the same height. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> I'd have to take three of me to be as tall as Brad, but that's okay. That's okay. It all works. All right, Brad. So like I said, this is kind of unique because you are a, a successful local business owner in the Richmond area. So more than anything, please tell us more about Capital Waffle Shop and why it's making such a splash around the Richmond area. Sure. Well, we're known for piling everything on top of waffles. We're a specialty food restaurant. Um, literally, if you want anything aside from waffles, we just recommend you go elsewhere. Uh, we started in downtown Richmond, right by the state capitol, uh, hence the name capital with an O. Sometimes some people are like, why don't you have an A in there? Uh, we are located in Capitol Place building. Um, Richmond has been my hometown. I was born and raised here. And uh, the, the whole food scene is quite a uh, competitive and that's what makes it fun in Richmond. And it's great for, you know, people who want to try new foods. And um, we went with kind of right in the heart of the city because living in Richmond, I was like, I need a spot right in the middle of the city that's open all the time. Pre-pandemic, we, we did uh, dabble with the 24 hours a day, um, you know, really just kind of a spot for people to come in at any time, uh, families or, or people taking shots at two o'clock in the morning, you know, a little bit of everything. Of course. And, uh, yeah. And then uh, we expanded throughout Richmond. So obviously a, a great place to expand a business. We went to um, VCU campus and opened up another spot. Um, also open all hours of the day pre-pandemic. And then uh, now we've branched out to the Midlothian area, um, the Burbs, somewhere with a little more parking. Parking um, not, parking I not. Downtown. I love the parking in, uh, in the Midlothian area. And um, uh, we're open out there as well. And still kind of, uh, you know, on the outskirts of the um, city area. But um, yeah, just a, a good little spot. Excited to expand in Richmond and, and still look to expand further. Absolutely. In fact, I think you might be even at one of your, um, or like coming back from one of your other locations. Um, where are you coming back from right now? I'm currently coming back from Harrisonburg, uh, not in Richmond, but we do have locations uh, in Norfolk and, and Harrisonburg as well. So as you can see, I'm in a uh, car setting and uh, without AC. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Because that made wind in the uh, in the recording. And I'm sorry, that just won't do. That's fine. I understand. <laughs> you understand. I'll, I'll deal with this. If I start sweating, though, you know why. It's not because I'm nervous. No, because, I mean, uh, Brad has been on TV several times, actually, all about his waffles. In fact, got featured on, was it was it Food Network? What was it again that you were on? I first aired on Cooking Channel and then we'll air on Food Network at a later date. Uh, but great. you were on it as well. So you, that's right. You, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we all we all had we all had our, de our debuts. Some of us are a little bit better behind the camera than others. That would be you for sure. Um, no, I'm, I'm picking this up. <laughs> <laughs> Brad, what would you say is like your best seller? What is the thing that like everybody loves best of all? Oh, well, it's a tough one. Uh, one thing that we always kind of put out there to bring people in are our, our 
uh, House Captain Crunch Chicken and Waffles. We offer it for five bucks, which um, another reason why I enjoy living in Richmond. It's uh, it's so a little affordable than some of the larger cities I've lived in. Um, we do offer this Captain Crunch Chicken and Waffles. It's super popular. We are definitely known for it. Some people will substitute Fruity Pebbles instead of the Captain Crunch. Um, and then we have, man, sometimes uh, just like my favorite waffle is our country waffle, which is scrambled eggs, sausage gravy, and fried chicken, mm-hmm. which how could you not? Um, so for popular items, those are definitely it. But uh, everything seems to uh, go over really well there. Um, we have waffle iron baked mac and cheese that's super popular okay. that I don't I don't know anyone else that's, um, you know, producing that and uh, that that way of baked mac and cheese. So, um, yeah, a couple of options right there for you. For sure, for sure. And nothing beats a mimosa with a piece of waffle, homemade waffle from Capital Waffle Shop on the on the rim. Uh, one of my favorites. Um, gives Absolutely. new meaning to enjoying the bottomless mimosa. Well, they're not bottomless, but they're bottomless if you decide and you just keep on yeah. giving the card to Brad, then sure. Yeah, if you keep ordering them, we will keep bringing them. <laughs> They'll keep them going. Keep them going. Uh, you know, you know, for, for a reasonable amount of time, you know, I guess it depends on how well you can uh, handle yourself. You're, you're behaving yourself if you, yeah. as long as you're not vomiting all over the place or they're having If you start time. talking about pancakes because you've had too many mimosas. That's you're it. Confused. You're out. You're out. <laughs> In fact, if you start talking about pancakes at Capital Wallace Shop, you're out already. You are you are yeah. out of the circle of trust. It's like Harry Potter and saying that uh, that one bad guy's name. Exactly. Yeah, can't do that. It is bad. It's bad. It is. It is not a good thing. Hey, everyone, make sure you stick around to the end of this local scoop for a great giveaway. You are not going to want to miss it. All right, my friend. I want to make sure you're not sweating to death. Uh, so let's jump into the actual local scoop. So tell us about the part of Richmond that you have lived in. Sure. Um, so we're right at the foot of Church Hill and Shaco Bottom. Mm-hmm. Um, love it. A real walkable area. There's a grocery store right by us. Numerous restaurants, one of them being our downtown location. Um, we have the canal walk right by us, which is awesome. I'm a, I'm a big runner. So I end up on the canal walk and run down to Browns Island, Belle Isle. Um, it, it's just kind of a different feel, even though you're right in the center of the city, you feel like you're, it, it's kind of like my little vacation place, even during a work week. Um, Church Hill's beautiful, has some old architecture, um, uh, the Patrick Henry's, uh, speech and, and church up there on the hill and everything. Um, you have a great view of the city, like you can't beat the view of the city from a couple spots in the Churchill area. Um, and where are you, where did you move from the city to now? Like where are you living now? Um, we're in the outskirts in uh, Chesterfield. Gotcha. So gotcha. South of the city. Makes sense. Makes sense. And what made you make, since it sounds like you love the city and the walkability and running and all the different things, what make, made you think I'm going to move out of the city? Uh, well, so we have a, uh, uh, we had a newborn when we decided to make the change and we wanted a little more space, but still kind of wanted the city feel mm-hmm. and where, where we moved, it's a new development. We're within walking distance to a grocery store, which was important to me in the city. Um, and parking's a little better, which uh, yes. made that easier for me for running. Um, we're right by, uh, Wood Lake, which has a, a nice reservoir with plenty of um, trails to, to be out and about on. For my son, there's plenty of pray, uh, playgrounds in the area. Yes. And uh, it's funny, anytime we hop in the car, he points out, he's like, playground this way, playground that way, <laughs> uh, which I love that area for that because it's kind of, that being close to him is kind of how I feel with having restaurants and shopping close to me. Like, that's, that's his thing, you know? Um, mm-hmm. He's not... You know, he's not currently worried about restaurants or shopping, but no. you, better, you better believe he knows where all of his playgrounds are. Absolutely. And, uh, Absolutely. Yeah, that, that's one thing we love about where we're at. Um, it it kind of has the best of both worlds um, in it for us. For sure. Brad, if you and Sarah were to move anywhere within the Richmond area and money was no object, where would you move and why? 
Oh, that's tough. Um, I don't know. Like I, we, we, both, we know the two places we like to live. Uh, one of them is where we're at and one of them is, is where, where we were. Yeah. Um, and, uh, I think that's kind of the thing. Um, we'd probably just go back to just right in the downtown area. Um, but see, that's tough because sometimes, some days, even when being downtown, it's like, I can't wait to be in the burbs. Yes. So, um, I'm sorry. No problem. Yeah. So, um, yeah, probably. Well, you say money's not an option. I'd pick the two places we're at right now. Kind there of, you go. Kind of like your vacation home and then your uh That's right. Home, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. This is where I am during the week and then my um my my um when you go to the Hamptons for the weekend. Yes. Right. I need a little <laughs> more space and a little relaxing. You know, I need to get on the boat, you know, right by the lakes. Right. You know? Right. And then downtown when I I need to keep up with the, you know, the 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 grind during the week and uh yeah. Really? I, I like I like where where we're at right now, so Exactly. Really, really no different than when you were in New York City. I mean, it's the same now. It's like you go work in the city for the week and then uh, you just go to the Hamptons or um, the shore for, for the weekend, right? Yep. There you go. That's there you it. go. Living live the dream, just Virginia style. That's it. Oh, yes. For sure. Brad, what are some memories of working with my team when you guys bought your house? Sure. So we worked with Ryan. And uh, we, you know, we were definitely looking for, um, we, we were on the hunt for quite a bit. And then we found something that we really it, thought that we would enjoy and wanted to move forward with. So we were able to, to contact Ryan and um, your team was able to put together things really quick and get into contact with the um, developer or the, you know, the, the agent uh, representing the, the builder of the spot that we were at. And as for questions, you know, I, and everyone always says, oh, you know, buying a home is so stressful and everything. Um, on our end, what we dealt with wasn't anything involving y'all. You know, it, I think it has to come with uh, um, waiting for, you know, the financing to fully go through and everything. Right. But on, on our end, there were a lot of questions. Anytime we, we had something come up, we directed towards Ryan. He would, you know, if he didn't know the answer, he'd get with, with y'all and, and, um, you know, come up with an answer really quick. We never really felt like we were in limbo with right. anything with your team. Um, we had immediate answers. We had the, uh, just like the, that warm, fuzzy feeling that, you know, it may not be taken care of this exact moment, but I brought it up and I know that, that y'all are working on it. Yeah. Um, we, I really didn't feel like we had any hangups, but I do feel like part of that is just y'all, y'all know what you're doing. You know who to talk to and you've done it plenty of times before. I think I saw recently what you, you, uh, you personally have been, uh, you sold over what, like 1600 homes personally is, or 1200 or. It was, it's something insane regardless. So. Yeah. Well, well it shows between you and your team. I, you know, I, I definitely see, uh, you know, experience is everything. The, um, it, it, it seems y'all got a good handle on it. You've, you've, you've dealt with problems that, um, you know, home buyers may not have uh, we've never done anything with new construction and um you know and waiting for something to get built and uh on your end i mean it, it put everything kind of kept us uh feeling like everything was going right right so. we're, we're kind of uh you know it's you know regardless of how many homes anyone has sold or bought if you don't do it day in day out year after year after year you just aren't you're not just the same as if I tried to do something at a restaurant, you're like five steps ahead and you're already like watching things like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're like, I'm like, what? Everything's going great. And you're like, <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. Okay. Hold on one second. <laughs> but uh, no, y'all took care of everything great for us. Um, we even had one hang up where um, the, uh, the agent for who we were purchasing from, um, they, they brought up a price. And they're like, no big deal. We'll just... You know, we'll just uh, make your loan right. more. And uh, you <laughs> know, like... we reached out to Ryan. He, you know, y'all y'all were able to put together an action plan. And next thing we know, we we were back to the price that we were promised, no matter <laughs> what was on their end. So, you know, y'all y'all went to battle really quick. And you know, I think when they brought you know something up about the price being more, like 
you know, we were a little stressed out, but. Right. We were like, no, uh, you know, hold tight real quick. Hold tight real quick. That's we're going to fix that. But maybe I'll talk to you about one of my favorite things that they have at Kappa Waffle House, which is just delicious. So I love all the different things. I told you about the uh, the mimosas with the uh, the waffle on the side, but there is something. It's like the Liege uh, waffle that um, if you have ever been, if you have ever been overseas uh, to particularly like the Netherlands and Belgium, uh, that is where that uh, originates from. Actually, Liege, uh, Belgium. It is so. So, so, so good. Sounds like he's almost back here, but it's absolutely delicious. Um, in fact, the funniest thing about it is like every time you'd go into what they call like the centrum or the middle part of a town over there, like in the Netherlands and Belgium, they would always have these Liege waffles that they were making. And the smell is so amazing. And the craziest thing is like years later, um, being back um, in the States and talking about things uh, with our son, who's obviously grown now. And um, we're talking about something about being over in some particular city. And all of a sudden he piped up and he's like, um, uh, we got waffles there, didn't we? And I'm like looking at him because he was like little, little, little. And I was like, how in the world did you remember about waffles there? Um, but he was like, I don't know. I just, he said like the smell and so many different memories from his early childhood had to do with food and he remembered those Liege waffles. They're absolutely delicious. I think we might be getting Brad back possibly, but the coolest thing is about these, it's, it's more solid, it's more dense than like a normal waffle you'd go into. And it's these sugar crystals that are baked into it. Oh my God, they're so good. And in our family, we have uh, this funny little thing for whatever reason, I'll have to ask what, where it came from is we've started calling them walking waffles. So they are so delicious. Make sure if you go into Capital Waffle House, ask for the walk and waffle. It's delicious. All right. So it looks like we're not going to get Brad back by any chance, but I'm so glad that we got a chance to have him on today. And he told us all about Richmond, all about Capital Waffle Shop. Make sure you guys go by and mention the video. And if you do, make sure to say, I'm looking for the blue light special, the walk and waffle, and they'll, they'll hook you all up. Thanks so again for tuning in for another episode of Living in Richmond, Virginia. And remember, leave everything better. Hey guys, it's Erin. And if this is a first time to our channel and you wanna learn everything there is to know about living in the Richmond, Virginia area, make sure to hit that subscribe button, make sure to hit that like button, and also click that little cute bell so that you're notified every time we release a new video.